Holy crap. Welcome back to Echo Valley Farms. In this video, we're going to vaccinate some calves as well as deworm them. Let's get to it. If this is your guys' first time watching this channel, I'm Blake Bateman. And I'm Bryce Boswell. And on this channel, we're dedicated to showing you a little bit of life on the farm. All right, so today we're gonna vaccinate these few calves. Just five of them. We're just gonna give them an eight way and deworm them. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta set up a little alleyway with these gates into the chute. All right, so we got our panel set up for a little bit of an alleyway, but first we're gonna grab the calves and run them into this pen. That way I can sort them off and bring them one at a time through the chute. Okay, so for you, those of you who haven't worked cattle before, this is our cattle chute. Basically what it does is it, is it contains the cattle while we uh, work on them and give them their shots. Uh, this is the head squeeze that squeeze their head right in there and so they uh, can't get out forward. And then you squeeze them shut tight so they can't move on you. And this door go, uh, closes behind them so they can't run out backwards either. Okay, so we're about to run the cattle through the chute, but I just want to let you know a little bit more about what we're giving them a dose of. So we're just going to give them a dose of an eight-way. And the main thing we do that for is to protect them from a disease called black leg. We try to keep our cattle as healthy as we can, and that's just one of the ways we can do it. All right, so now I'll peel off one calf at a time and run them up through the alleyway into Bryce. Hopefully he can catch them. He doesn't let any get through. But he's kind of a rookie, so we'll see. Uh, he'll catch him, and then I'll come and give him the shot. Hip, 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 ho, oh. hip, hip, ho, oh. hip, hip. Would you look at that? One for one. Spunky monkey. So for these guys, it's recommended that we give them a five milliliter dose subcutaneously, which just means right underneath the skin. Come on, buddy. Come on, dreamer. Four cows down, one to go. This one's wild, guys. Whoa. Hup, hup. Hup. Get over there so she doesn't go through there. Told you she was wild. That's my uncle's one, not mine. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh, 
Holy moly. All right, guys, it took a while, but we finally got that white-faced one that was my uncle's. I won't be doing that again with another uh, really wild one. As you saw, he just uh, busted under through the fence. We had to work him back around, get him in. Uh, so when we started, all these panels were relatively straight until that last wild cat. As you can see, they are not straight anymore. For weaning purposes, we had all of our, these uh, cattle in these guard, this guardrail area right here. But now that they're done weaning, we're gonna move them out of all this crap down into this pen. Say hi, Blake. This pen is a lot cleaner, so we're just gonna go check all of the fences and make sure they have water and that the fence is plugged in. And then we'll move them down here. Well, Blake doesn't feel like getting shocked today and frankly, neither do I. So I'm gonna go check the fencer to make sure it's not plugged in. Yep, she's unplugged. If you've never been shocked before, it is not a fun experience. Okay. So this is the water we have for our cows, but it's really, really crappy as you can tell. So we're gonna drain it all out and then probably clean it out and refill it. There it goes. So just a few more things before we can move these calves down into this cleaner pen. We've checked all the fences. We've got the water draining out and we're gonna clean that out. I know that was disgusting. We would never give that to our calves, ever. But anyway, we're going to go find an extension cord for this. By uh, we, I mean Bryce. So that we can get the fencer hot and meanwhile, I'll go start the backhoe. That way we can move a bale feeder down here for those guys. Bryce thinks he's cool because he's riding a four-wheeler, side saddle style. Trying to do a little peel out. Here comes the wild one. Woohoo! I just grabbed a shovel so I could uh, shovel all the crap out of that water bin. If you guys like these videos, uh, we really appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up and uh, drop a comment below. And if you're new to the channel, uh, smash that subscribe button. It really helps us out. We got most of the water drained out and now I'm going to start shoveling it, which should be a lot of fun. Got our water back filling up, and that is a lot cleaner than it was. So we moved our calves over to the new pen. So we also have to move the feeder. That's what we're doing now. First try. As you can see, this pen is literally full of crap. That's part of the reason we wanted to get these calves out of here. Blake's off to go get one more bale to feed these calves and that'll wrap up our day.
No worries, guys. It's better on the inside. Doesn't look too good on the outside, but better on the inside. All right, so we got the feeder moved in, got a bale in. Water's filling up for the calves. All in all, we went pretty smooth besides that calf that almost nailed me. But it's kind of cold out here. So we're gonna run in, uh, grab some grub. Uh, and anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.